Greetings and welcome to Jeffrey Films. Today we're going to talk about a 1989 post-apocalyptic action movie directed by Albert Payan, and he did The Sword and the Sorcerer, which is a movie I love. And I love this movie, starring Jean-Claude Van Damme. So let's review Cyborg. This movie starts out talking about the collapse of civilization, that there's a plague, and that the scientists are working on a cure. Pearl and her bodyguard Marshall are trying to get back to Atlanta because she has some information on the plague, but they run into pirates. Marshall tries to hold them off, but doesn't fare too well, trying to get her to escape. The leader of the pirate gang is Fender and he wants to cure but he doesn't want to save the world and Pearl's running away in her little red jumpsuit until Van Damme saves her and then she reveals that she's a cyborg and all her memories and the information for the cure is stored in there and then Van Damme gets shot. Fender says that he'll take her to Atlanta and she goes with him but don't worry Van Damme wakes up he's fine. We see the pirates traveling and they're killing people along the way like pirates do. And Fender's got some pretty sweet chainmail. And they get on a barge and they go that way. And at times the barge is a miniature so it actually kind of looks funny. Van Damme's following along trying to catch up to them and he sees places burning. And he accidentally knocks at a girl when he throws a knife at her to knock her out. He thought it was somebody else. So as a gentleman he stays there while she's asleep. Sharpening his knife. And that's not the way people want to wake up. We get a quick flashback of a woman and two kids at Van Damme's taking out of the city to be safe, but we actually see that they're not safe there. When the girl wakes, we find out that her name is Natty and that she's been tracking Pearl too and finds out that they're taking her to Atlanta. Natty tries to guilt him into saving Pearl, but he just wants revenge on Fender. But they're heading the same way, so they become traveling buddies. We also find out that her parents died from the plague, and I've never been to a night market, but I've always imagined this is what it's like. Van Damme runs into an old contact and he calls him Gibbs because that's his name and he used to be a slinger. Slingers are kind of like the resistance. They, they escort people out of the dangerous spots into a safe spot and he did that once. He gave up the life and actually became a farmer. So we get some information out of his contacts. We get to see a plague victim and some guys are picking on some kid. Van Damme steps in, teaches the bully a lesson. Hey, I don't think this is yours. Yeah. Next we get the all too familiar sight of men sitting around toplessly sharpening their knives and smiling at each other. Van Damme wants to make up some time so him and Natty cut through the wasteland. It's pretty dangerous there as you can tell by the fishnet masked men that have been stalking them. Natty goes up this abandoned building being stalked by some of these guys and Van Damme's taking some of them out. She's super surrounded but Van Damme's got a gun. Well, he had a gun. She takes care of some business on her own too but there's some pretty sweet shots here. there's this creepy military group that lives around these abandoned buildings and couldn't take out a girl in a slinger. Oh, how well trained are they? Well, once they're all dead, they go to the beach because Fender's boat's got a pass through there. Natty goes for a swim, naked, and Jean Claude's a gentleman for a few seconds. They have an awkward fire talk later, and she shows him the goods, but he turns it down. And then he has a flashback of a sex scene with his short-haired girlfriend that he used to have. We get to see Fender's crew on the boat and this young blonde girl who seems somewhat familiar and we get a flashback from Pearl now as she's accepting the mission and it has the operation. Couldn't they just put it on a floppy disk? They find Fender's boat but Fender's watching them from afar and we get to see Ralph in his ridiculous wig but I fucking love Ralph. This guy's awesome. Too bad they dubbed his lines though. That is not his voice. Who are they? Take them out. Natty gets caught pretty easy and Van Damme has some sweet fight scenes with a lot of people accepting some challenges but getting cheaped out because they're using numbers against him. Even Fender's a little bitch and won't have a fight with him. We do get to see the necklace on that little girl that we saw on the boat earlier and it's the same necklace that he gave to Haley, one of the young girls that used to live with him in his little family that he had. Yeah. 
He takes a shot at Fender, but then he runs, and he manages to pick up Natty, and he runs into Pearl, and he tries to bring her with her, but she won't go with him because she doesn't feel he's strong enough, and she has a plan to kill Fender when he gets to Atlanta. Van Damme keeps running with an unconscious Natty over his shoulders, and the pirates continue to pursue him, and they go into the sewers, and that's some pretty brown water. Van Damme ends up putting her down eventually, and does this Van Damme thing with the splits. And it's sad to see Ralph die. Everyone's in the sewer, and Natty finally wakes up, so it's time to climb out of the sewer. And they go running through this watery field, and the locations are pretty sweet. Van Damme fights this staff guy in a pretty cool move. And Natty fights this like pirate, like gladiator chick and knife chops off hand. More people catch up to him and he can't kill them all, but he tries. Finally, Fender decides that he'll fight him and Van Damme can't make a dent in him and they end up crucifying him on this random pirate ship that they found in this desert here. He also exchanges some looks with Haley, and she recognizes him and he recognizes her. So Natty got knocked out, but like, where is she at? Is she just lying there in the swamp unconscious and the pirates left her there? Wow, terrible pirating, I tell ya. Van Damme's still having flashbacks of escorting Mary and her children to that farmhouse, you know, in a safer area. And then Fender shows up while he's having some blue light love. And he's just staring at him and watching. I don't know how long he watched for. But then he ties them up. He ties up the boy, he ties up Mary and Van Damme and puts them in the well. And he gives Haley this barbed wire that they're tied to. Haley has to hold the barbed wire to keep them up. And if she lets go, they'll die. Well, naturally, she's a little girl. She's not going to be able to. And they fall. Van Damme is angrily kicking the boat's mass as he's reliving these visions. As he climbs out of this little well and sees this horrifying vision of this dead woman. <laughs> Natty finally shows up and cuts him free. Fender's on to Pearl's plan to end him in Atlanta and they reach the city limits and we see Van Damme's mostly healed now and him and Natty are in Atlanta too. And we get the pirate show and they show up, Van Damme sends off a signal and he starts kicking ass and this guy's expression. While Van Damme is killing pirates, Natty decides to rescue Pearl and the rain machine is working overtime and she has to fight some people too. And then they decide to give this guy a line. Good on them. I kill slingers. Fender takes off his shirt, so I guess it's time to fight. He's pretty ripped, but he keeps his sunglasses on at night. Van Damme's doing all right, but he's starting to take some punishment. So Haley yells, stop it, Defender. And he like looks at her and looks at him and realizes that he's that slinger from that farmland. So he goes to kill Haley. Natty gets involved and he stabs her. Eighty percent of the time, your knife is used against you. Fender's defeated, and Van Damme hugs Haley, and everyone lives happily ever after. Just kidding. Fender attacks. You know, for a guy that was stabbed fatally, he still got some juice left in him. Look in the back. Is he dead now? Pearl gets up, finally, and Natty's dead. And the rain machine is just going hard at it. You know, I can't say I blame them. If I had a rain machine, I'd be using it for every scene. They get to the scientist building in Atlanta, and Pearl asks him to stay, but he says that they're needed out there. So he leaves with Haley. I mean, at least offer him a meal or a shirt. Christ sakes. This movie actually did pretty good. It had a $500,000 budget and it made 10 million. It was shot in 23 days and spawned two sequels. Sadly, Van Damme wasn't in them, but Angelina Jolie was. And if I recall correctly, um, it was like so bad that it was good. And the second one's only really noticeable. It's called The Recycler for like one fact that one of the cyborgs gets pregnant with a child, which is the same thing that happened in Blade Runner. So that's kind of cool. 
During filming, Van Damme accidentally took a guy's eye out with a prop knife, and he got sued for 185000 This movie had one of the actors I really like, Ralph Muller, a German superstar. He was in Conan, the television series, Gladiator, an Academy Award winning movie, and The Viking Sagas, which I'm totally going to review one day. So overall, I mean, I really love this film. Jean-Claude Van Damme has rarely been better than this. Maybe in Time Cop, because, you know, there's two of them. But, like, the post-apocalypse action movie is done really well in this. The story is very simple. But they have the flashbacks. They bring meaning and some heartfelt moments to it. So I totally recommend you watch this if you haven't seen it. And as always, thanks for watching.